Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now you might be thinking that wow, it was pretty simple and now I can draw parallel lines. Now have you ever thought of constructing triangles or drawing triangles with accuracy? You might be thinking that that, that would be tough because in a triangle there are so many different parameters involved. We have three sides, we have three angles. For that matter, we have so many different types of triangles. We have a right angle triangle, we have acute triangle, we have obtuse triangle, we also have scaling triangle, isosceles triangle. So there are varieties of triangles that exist. So if I if we think of drawing triangles, that is definitely going to be something very complex. So we will now learn how to draw different types of triangles. So we will do it one after another. We will look at drawing four different types of triangles. Now there are certain criteria which are needed to draw a triangle. Now if you want me to draw a triangle, there are certain set of information which needs to be given to me so that I can draw a triangle. For example, if you want me to draw a parallel line, so you need to give me a line. So one existing line has to be there so that I can draw another line which is parallel to the given line. Right? So that is something which needs to be given by you. Similarly, when you want me to draw a triangle, you either need to provide me the length of the three sides. So if you provide me the length of the three sides, I can draw a triangle like this. So you just draw three sides of the given length, you get a triangle. Or you can give me the length of two sides and the angle between them. So with that much information also we can draw a triangle. So basically what we are trying to say is, it is not needed that in order to draw a triangle, you need to give information about the length of all the three sides and all the three angles. That is not needed. Even if you give information only about the length of three sides, we can get the triangle. If you give information about two sides and the angle between them, something like this, you know these two sides and you also know the angle between them. So with this much information also, you can draw a triangle. Similarly, if you know two angles and the side between them, with that also you can draw a triangle. For example, you know the values of these two angles and you know the length of this side which lies between these two angles. So if you know this much information, you can again draw a triangle like this. So you basically see these two lines would meet at some point and then it makes a triangle. Or if you are trying to draw a right angle triangle for which we always know that there is a 90 degree present. There is a right angle present. That is why it is a right angle triangle. So for right angle triangle, if you know the length of the hypotenuse and any one leg, whether it is the base or the perpendicular, any one of them and the hypotenuse. So now in a right angle triangle, this is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is that side which lies exactly opposite to the right angle. So let's say this is a right angle triangle. So this is 90 degree. So the side opposite to 90 degrees, this side, which is nothing but the hypotenuse. So to draw a right angle triangle, if you know the length of the hypotenuse and any one leg, you can draw the triangle. So basically these are the four different criteria which are the four different possibilities. So either you give us the three sides or you give us two sides and the angle between them or you give us two angles and the included side or you give the hypotenuse and leg of a right angle triangle. So with any one of these given set of information we can draw an accurate triangle. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.